ready for another good session? Can you yes. Try? Hopefully this time my friends don't start dying immediately. <laughs> <laughs> he was hoping. Um, hey, we didn't even have anybody go in contests. True. You guys yeah, made it out uh, pretty lucky compared to uh, Team Soul. <laughs> yeah, imagine going unconscious. That'd be cringe. <laughs> Staring at you, taking like four goblin hits in one turn. <sighs> Someone had to do it. <laughs> and I'm glad it was you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all things considered, I am also glad it was me. <laughs> What's our little goblin's name again? Uh, Lear. Goblin friend's name is Lear. The large oak leaves overhead sway with a light breeze, rustling bushes and small wildlife bounding amongst the foliage. The party walks peacefully in a focused silence as the day gradually slips by. I want to take a look at Thinnis and prod your brain a little bit. Uh, sure. as you guys walk here. Um, what is going on in Thinnis' brain with the events that have sort of unfolded so far? Thinnis is taken aback at how much violence has already had to occur. Um, Thinnis definitely knew that there were going to be, you know, dangers going into uh, the, the hollow, but not... not before we uh, are even there. Um, and so I, I think Thinnis feels a little like unprepared, uh, if anything, for, for how it actually is outside of that small settlement. Okay, that, that, that certainly makes sense. <laughs> uh, as you, as the group is walking uh, and you're sort of mulling over these thoughts, you notice something that takes you out of your focus. Uh, it's something small, but with a, a keen detective's eye, you, you happen to notice it. Uh, your shadow seems to stretch a few in inches instantaneously. Is the shadow behind me or in front of me? Uh, the shadow at this point uh, would have been sort of more under you uh, and okay. is now farther in front of you. The last time you checked, it was about noon. Okay, I... Thinnis would instinctively put his hand into his, uh, like, jacket pocket where his uh, pistol is, is waiting and then calls out to the party. Yes? What is it, Thinnis? My, my shadow is moving. Is that that typically happens when the moon moves? Or the not, sun moves. not like that. Not like that. No, in an instant. So we'll, we'll slither on up and look at Thinnis's shadow. Looks, yeah, looks pretty normal. No movement. Sobo is going to punch Thinnis's shadow. <laughs> with a <laughs> with a solid thud, your your fist hits the ground. Uh, and there's no extra movement or anything of the sort. Hmm. I think I got it. <laughs> um, can I cast detect magic? Uh, yes, you may. <clears throat> I forgot you had that. <laughs> Legends say this. This MF has cantrips. <laughs> I have, this MF I have has cantrip. The, this MF has the most useful cantrip. <laughs> Next to prestidigitation. Okay, um, you don't detect anything out of the ordinary, out of the, the stuff your party already has. Okay. I think at this point, Thinnis is probably doubting his eyesight now. <laughs> what, uh, uh, what, what surface are we on currently? Is this grass? Yeah, you guys are on uh, grass China. with like the, the sort of uh, pretty tall oaks sort of around you, but there is fairly large pockets of... You know, sunlight. Can I use ignite to light the grass and un there's a shadow on fire? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. 
<laughs> you ignite a small flame and sort of burn away the grass at the base of uh, Thinnis's feet, and nothing seems to really change. I mean, the shadow goes away for yeah, for a it shifts moment. to the other side. Yeah, mm -hmm. but uh, it after the the fire sort of goes out and everything is said and done, um, everything seems normal. Thinnis will will take a deep breath and take his hand off of his gun and uh, just I, sorry guys maybe your nerves are making you see things that are not real probably to be expected it's a scary place we are delving into let us continue on but do keep in mind if you notice anybody else's shadow moving unnaturally will do i'd love the chance to fight my own shadow <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Ortex isn't is just sort of watching this whole ordeal, but I want you to know that he's mentally noting down that this is probably what they mean when they say jumping at shadows in common. <laughs> um, um, what would the party like to be doing? Are we going to be looking at sort of the same uh, same activities as, as before? Yeah, let me just reactivate all of my exploration activities. I had to repeat a spell from Azadan, which I believe was Rousing Splash. Yeah. Um, so was still trolling for baddies. Um, uh, actually, how does the healing mechanic work again? Like getting back your stamina? Um, uh, I believe you guys already did so. Yeah, you did so at the, the, the end of the, your last encounter. But it's you take 10 minutes to take a breather and you mm. regain back. You spend one resolve point to regain all of your stamina. Yeah, I see that now. I have one down. Okay. Then if everybody's all good, um, I'm assuming you guys are making sort of a beeline for goblin mines then? Mm. Your. That's right. Beeline for goblin headquarters where we will TPK. I would, oh. take a, I would take a beeline to get Goblin Head. Me too. A five. Five indeed. Um. You encountered the Goblin boss. I don't know why. <laughs> bum 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 bum. Uh, no. The your your walk for this sort of time period is largely uneventful. Uh, you hear the the sort. Of, you continue to hear the sort of trees rustling. Uh, and most sort of wildlife you run into uh, sort of runs away from you as they see you. You know, rabbits and birds and the sort. Nothing that uh, is particularly causing any threat. Beer, what sort of dangers are there in these woods other than you and your kin? Wait, what did oh, you... Uh, out, 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 of character, what did, out of character, what did you call him? Beer. Uh, okay, <laughs> just checking. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's Lear. Uh, other kind of wildlife? Mm. Dangerous kind. Something we should keep a lookout for. If I had to say there are uh, wolves and bears, badgers as well, and they can get, uh, they can get pretty mean. Been face to face with a couple of them, and, uh, they, it, <laughs> it hurts. Those are the ones I can think of off the top of my head. That would probably be the worst to run into. One more thing. Did your kind come from deeper down, or did you come from above and settle? We've we've lived here for <laughs> quite some time. So... I see. Yeah. It wasn't really well, uh, coming from above, uh, coming from up from below. I mean, it would be kind of hard to, <laughs> to come up from below. Uh, Right, based on the circumstances, but yeah, we've 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 lived here for, for as far as I can remember. Hmm. Well, you can continue to do so once we're out of your hair, then. Oh, lovely to hear. With that, the the next sort of hour passes fairly calmly. Let's get into the next segment. Another roll. Now we encounter the goblin boss. <laughs> yeah, the, the, lucky, the lucky goblin boss who seems to have lost his weighted coin. <laughs> <laughs> With that, let me prep. Uh, you can talk amongst yourselves if you so desire. Yo mama. 
<laughs> She's gonna kill us, guys. Tell me, friends, what is your favorite food? I think the Silva starts talking and as it then just like tries to find a person to like get in between them and Silva so they don't have to die. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> well, not all at once, I suppose. I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I guess or we are the... friends. <laughs> well, personally, I uh, I prefer to eat. Well, it's hard to say favorite food. I've been. He's he's trying to think on it. He's like I've I've been traveling on a pilgrimage for so long. I can't really think. You know, I sort of subsist on a on a diet of mostly fruits and vegetables. So that makes sense, considering and he kind of stops. Right, that makes sense. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I like barbecue. Anything you can put over a campfire. I'm gonna Google one of the barbecue in one thing. <laughs> uh, 15, I feel like six, huh? <laughs> I feel like barbecue is something that's like, you know, as long as you've had a fire and could cook a meat over it. <laughs> mm. I think my favorite is probably salmon roe. I like salmon roe. I know what a salmon is. Well, have you ever had a row of them? Hmm. So That's not like what that is. a lot. <laughs> Ortix, Ortix is like furling his brows, like trying to think really hard about what, what Thinness is trying to say right now. <laughs> this MF can eat a dozen salmon. I like you, Thinnis. Anyone with a big appetite is strong. Thinnis, Thinnis, uh, like, pretends to flex. <laughs> <laughs> with, uh, with that, um, you guys find your party, uh, walking towards a, a very, very large, um, oak tree. Spit out the party around the token. It's a bone man. The hat. I <laughs> that some of my stuff didn't import right. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> the the, the tree was man. supposed to be blocking the vision. And here we are. <laughs> well, can't take that back. Um, That's a bone man with a hat. <laughs> so I'll say, move the group over this way and say you start seeing <laughs> Uh, you can you can move yourself uh, wherever you want we, within ten feet of the token. We can all just honor system that we didn't see it. No, it's too late. <laughs> you'll, you'll saw it. We'll get into that in a second. Uh, um, as your party is walking, you, you you come across this large oak tree, and as you start to uh, sort of circle around it, you see resting up against the tree uh, is a skeleton. <laughs> Wearing a really fancy hat. <laughs> <laughs> you do soon after notice the very fancy hat. Uh, oh, well, and upon further inspection... <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I said, well, that's quite a dapper skeleton. <laughs> uh, <laughs> along with that, you can see next to him, uh, sort of leaning against the tree, is a very large, uh, like, vase... Uh, what does the party do? Finding my, uh, considering the Zelda instincts to shatter the vase immediately. Um, Thinnis, Thinnis is walking forward. I am, uh... Yeah, I don't know Thinnis. what to do with this guy. I, I kind of want to just leave him to his devices. <laughs> Sobo will walk up, like, next to Thinnis, but isn't actually doing anything. Just his muscle in case that is a animated skeleton. Finnis is intensely interested in the Dapper Man. <laughs> <laughs> Wherever Finnis goes, just imagine Soba's right next to him. So, like, until you stop me. Poor lad was buried oh, with his finest clothes. <laughs> Once you guys get around here, uh, you notice the, the skeleton move, uh, uh -huh. and it turns its head towards uh, Finnis and Soba, and you see a a dim light sort of appear in the back of its eyes and it uh, that, that light gets like a little bit brighter 
and it stands up and takes a step over to uh, like towards the party. Hi. <clears throat> Uh, you see its jaw open, and then it uh, it looks like it blinks as those lights sort of like dim and relight again, uh, and it closes its mouth and uh, reaches into the the vase that is next to it, um, and like sticks like part of its upper body down into the vase, uh, and then you see it pull out. Uh, like a signboard, uh, <laughs> and it begins Wiley to Coyote write on this eyes. signboard and turn it towards you. Uh, this is the coolest fucking guy ever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the the signboard reads in common: uh, "Hello, fine adventurers. What brings you here today?" Uh, so, but slowly turns and faces Thinnis. Would you like to be the one to ask him, or shall I? What are you asking him? You! Would you like to join our party? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it it tilts its head, and then you hear a rattling as like uh, its jaw like moves up and down as if it's laughing, uh, and then it shakes its head. Damn. <laughs> Seemingly, oh, with, seemingly without writing, though, um, it flips. Like you don't see it write anything down, uh, but it flips the signboard, and it says on the back side, "But I do have things to trade." Ooh. Ooh. What? What are things? What? What do you have? It flips the signboard over again, uh, and on the side where you know it previously said. Uh, like, hello, adventures. Uh, it now says two options. One risky, one not. Risky. <laughs> oh, so, but no. <laughs> uh, you see the, uh, the skeleton walk over towards the pot, the, the, the giant pot, and bring it over uh, in front of the two of you. It then takes the signboard, flips it over again, and it says... Put one thing into the pot. Give him the weed. <laughs> <laughs> Sobo pats himself like because he doesn't have anything. Come here, keys, wallet. <laughs> <laughs> A barrel of beer. <laughs> How big is this? <laughs> Fully too big for the butt of the jar. <laughs> How big is the pot? Yeah. Uh, fairly large. Like it could fit like a whole person in it if okay it so, so we can fit a barrel um <laughs> might you be could pour the content that, you, you could pour the content of the barrel out of the jar and see what i think <laughs> i think we should put the i think we should put the weed in the jar yes. okay <laughs> okay so you can stash? you can link what you want to uh put into the pot in the chat do we want to get rid of the the weed I don't care about the weed either way. Yeah, let's get rid of the weed. I don't think it's useful for weed. anything, and we can't uh, give it back to sell it, so might as well. Oh, and let me let me also do this. Bump. So you can see the oh my guy, God. Yeah. His, his shiny <laughs> oh, he's skull. So <laughs> so he, I'm glad he. I'm glad he finds ways to upkeep the shininess of his skull down here. <laughs> That's very important for business. I'm still not ruling out shooting him from over here. No, he's fine. <laughs> I feel like my character has enough reason to not trust the undead. <laughs> so who would like to be the one to place the the weed in the the jar? <laughs> yeah, I'll play, do it. You ever played not? You ever played not it where everybody puts their finger on their nose? <laughs> Those guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, Finis, Finis does not know this game. <laughs> Finis is losing for sure. Is it an Inglacial how already have their fingers on their nose? <laughs> uh, Orthix will just turn and look at you and raise an eyebrow, like, what, you, what you're trying to signal. <clears throat> so with that, uh, the, the, the skeleton sees the thing you brought out, uh, the, the weed, and sort of 
uh, you see his eyes light up. Uh, and then he flips the signboard again, and it says, yet again, risky or safe? <laughs> I, Thinnis would, would honor what, what Soba said and, and just say, uh, risky, I guess. All right. Uh, flipping the signboard again, it says, I'll put the object in the pot. I do it. Cool. Uh, can you roll me a 1d8? Oh, fuck. Yeah. Six. Could be good. Uh, let me... I need to look at how much it's worth. Uh, is it in your guys' stash right now? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's two gold. Cool. Uh, putting it inside, uh, you, you take a step back afterwards, uh, and you see the skeleton in front of you take a, uh, large cork, uh, that is sort of sitting beside him and put it on the top of the vase, pick up the vase seemingly effortlessly, um, and then give it a couple quick shakes and then uncorking the vase puts its hand in and pulls out a red potion, a somewhat familiar red potion, and hands it to you, Thinnis. Familiar as in, like, I would know what it is. Yes. And upon taking it, uh, you would see that it is labeled uh, to be a healing potion. Minor. Yippee! Um, I knew the potions had weed in them. <laughs> To, to explain uh, in post of what this little fun little game is, you can put something into his pot when you run into him. Uh, and if you choose risky, it will either double or half the amount of value of the item and give you something new. And if you choose balanced, it will give you something of similar value. Ooh. Uh, with another flip of the signboard, uh, the skeleton sticks out its hand, and you see as it holds the signboard to its side, it says, Name is Pot. Nice to meet you. Pot. <laughs> Finnis, and I shake his hand. <laughs> Soba, and he holds out a fist for Nux. <laughs> <laughs> with, a, with a small rattle, uh, he moves over and gives you Nux. And with that, a quick sort of bow uh, with his hat. Um, he puts the hat back on, uh, straps the vase, the, the large pot, uh, to his back, and wanders off. Hmm. Very well, funny traveler. Probably make note of that so the other group doesn't mm. just attack a hatted skeleton later on. I'm, I'm already writing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he's, he's so unassuming, I don't... Why would you attack such a fine-looking fellow? <laughs> what an upstanding gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> I can take one guess on who designed this uh, this character. Um, You'd probably be wrong, but you can. This is a this is a community-made NPC. Who do you think? That's oh, crazy. Yeah. I'm going to guess Mudkid. <laughs> False, um, but close. Uh, oh. Pot was actually submitted by Bottled Boats. Oh, Boats. <laughs> boats would be my second guess. Boats would be my second guess. Because it wouldn't be Dapper Skeleton that made that made Bots. It would be one of one of their their friends. <laughs> uh, I love what people gave me to run with for a lot of the community NPCs, uh, because a lot of them were just sort of like a basis of a character. And then I flushed them out a little bit more. Uh, and man, I've been excited. I'm so excited that it was Pots that was uh, uh, chosen by fate. <laughs> uh, but cool. From there, we can move. I can't wait till we encounter my NPC. I'm <laughs> wait. Back to the overview. Onward we go. Hour passes as four o'clock as you look up in the sky. Um, uh, the sun says four o'clock. Perfect. 
<laughs> so, so true. Um, <laughs> with that, let's move again. Mm, okay. It was a three. Um, with that, let me get the encounter ready. You guys may, as before, talk amongst yourself if desired. I, I trust you you all handle the uh, skeleton trait for the future. I do not trust the undead. Being raised in a shrine mostly made it so I was hired to exercise them, not trade with them. I was also raised in a shrine to exercise. <laughs> I think Azadan just stares at Zova for like a second and then just doesn't say anything for the rest of it. <laughs> uh, like, <laughs> like, you, like, so, like, they, they, they put out a, like, they put out a metaphorical olive branch, and so I just did it, and as it ended, why not? That was, that was my try for the day. Tasty olives. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I think with that, we can just move ourselves right into this. <laughs> I will. I promise I will continue to misuse words when given the chance. <laughs> um, you guys I don't may... like this. I don't see anybody. You guys yeah, can you, can, can you reveal them? Or... <laughs> you guys can Damn, you didn't fuck up this end. time. <laughs> ten, ten feet of the, the token. So, uh, as the group is making way through the forest, uh, Soba, as you are constantly sort of keeping your eyes and ears peeled uh, for any sort of secrets and or trouble. You are the first to be alerted by a rustling, a single snapped branch. Who goes there? What goes there? No response. Can I run a perception check to see if I notice it as well? Yes. Or notice anything? Sort of seeing Soba, <laughs> seeing Soba walk up, Thinis, you you hear something from uh, back over here. Oh, interesting. Then I'm I'm gonna point over this way to the group and walk over here. Ortix, you you lie a bit confused with the the sort of other sounds of nature that are going along, like going on around you, uh, that it's hard to sort of make out anything. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot I had this. Uh, as he's moving, he's gonna have like a long serpent tongue kind of slide out of his mouth and start wiggling in the air. Mm -hmm. uh, and he's going to use imprecise scent Ooh. to try to determine if it's a creature or, or something that... I think it's... what is the distance on that? It's uh, 30 feet. From where you are currently, you don't... Uh, you weren't able to pick up anything. You could sort of keep moving. All right, it is about here that you know for sure that that there is there is something around you. You catch a a hint of uh, the usual smells that would be sort of another adventurer, or just like another another person. Mm -hmm. Maybe the smell of like clothing, tinge of metal. Yeah. Not like fur and feces and whatever an animal would smell like. Mm. <clears throat> I can tell you're out there, hiding. I know you're a person. And I'm sure you can understand me. You hear a slight growl. And then, out from around the tree, they reveal themselves. You see a, a cat folk in front of you. Uh, oh, wielding a large battle axe. Well, you did find me. What reason have you stalking up on us? And he's now looked towards where Thinnis is walking as well. Oh, we simply wanted to avoid any trouble. Get ahead of things. You know, if two groups manage to simply walk by each other, then nothing will happen. You know, a precaution. Never know what people are going to do around <clears throat> these parts. Well, there's no need for you to come across as an enemy like that. Please, you and your you and your friends come out into the open and join us. 
they no. they sort of Take tilt their head uh, at that and say, "Friends, but I'm I'm here alone." Uh, he'll look back again towards Thinis. I look like a deer caught in headlights, and I walk a couple of feet up, but still in the back, just in case they're lying. Hmm. Very well. Uh, I'm going to try to make an impression. I'm going to kind of unbackpack sling the, the small keg. I'm going to put it down, take out the two mugs that I bought, fill both of them, put one on the keg, and then hold the other one and kind of gesture for him to come join. Okay. Fresh so booze from up top. Make an impression? Yeah. All right. Uh, give me a roll. Yippee, I have Intimidate. I don't have the other one. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. They, they, they squint their eyes at your offer and with a, with a sort of low growl, well, just as you seem to not trust us, why should we trust you drinking from whatever concoction you have there? Uh, he'll look back to his party for help. <laughs> Is it like a, can, I, can I do a lore thing to see if cat folk talk in, like, plural, or, like, is you, this just... <laughs> you can do a society check. Uh, uh, you can also sense motive. That's also a thing. I would like to sense motive. Cool. Um, you can tell, especially with that slip of, of we... Um, that they were lying about being a little. Yeah. yeah, and I don't think it's the first time they've used a plural either. Just, <laughs> I, 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 that's why I asked. <laughs> <'Cause>... <laughs> Does anybody here actually have like a diplomacy skill? I. <laughs> Does you believe me that I do? <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. So I was going to just awkwardly start a long yeah. sip of his own beer. I. <laughs> I, I guess as then we'll walk up <clears throat> accompanied by the eternal bodyguard. <laughs> if you you and uh, yours intend to keep moving along, then we shall as well. I don't see any reason to engage in pointless combat. They notice as you you double down on the like there are other people and they sort of squint farther. But they they take a step forward. Perhaps that might be the best option for me to simply go. Were you trying to make an impression or anything of the sort? I just kind of like to avoid them. I don't know. Are they hostile to us? They seem kind of neutral, but... This is definitely just like cooking for an ambush. Yeah, I, I get the feeling that they definitely want to try to get the jump on us, but... Well, considering my flesh wounds, I would like to avoid combat if possible. How how visible would you say those those wounds are? Um, I probably his feathers are mostly covering them. It's been a f few hours since mm. uh since there's, the initial injury. There's like official rules in the book that define how fucked up a person looks depending on their health, right? Well, there's definitely dried blood on his feathers, yeah. both his own and others. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, they they are, they certainly like you can tell this one in particular like keeps glancing over uh, at you, Ortix, and when you come to speak up, they you have their full attention. They they sort of say that they should get going. Uh, they they start to to sort of walk by the group. <laughs> uh, what? The strangest showdown of all time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do does your group do anything? Like, do you start moving your own way? Are you watching them? Like, what? I'm definitely keeping an eye on them, but I think we should keep moving. Yeah, as it ends, at least, like, <laughs> keeping a body or two in between them and the enemy. Uh, so I was drinking two different glasses of beer. <laughs> Cortex will definitely whisper to Thinis to try to keep an eye out behind us. Cool. Uh, as... The two of you, as the, the, the group and this cat folk sort of pass by, you guys can start sort of moving yourselves. And it is about here 
that Ortix, mm-hmm. you hear a rustling from over towards the the tree to the west over here. Uh, and it is here that I will ask the group to roll for initiative. Fuck. Let me... <clears throat> Damn, 23. Jeez, Holy shit. Jeez, guys. These are all pretty decent. What happens that cues us into initiative then? Like I said, you, you hear a swift rustling from the, the west. Uh, and oh. with that, the sound of that rustling, um, that might jerk your attention that way for a second. Uh, you notice the cat folk that is trying to walk by you guys uh, turn their head and grip their weapon. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we're about to fuck that guy up. <laughs> with that thinness, you go first. I'm going to devise a stratagem on the cat person. Was I able to drink my two mugs of beer? Um, I would say in that time that you guys were <clears throat> sort of having a stare down, probably, since it only takes nice. like action to drink. I have a plus one bonus against fear effects. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> oh, nice fifteen. Fifteen's not bad. Oops, Attack I mean... with sword cane, and then I will use <clears throat> another action to move up here okay. and attack. <clears throat> Oh, really quick. Um, yes. When when everybody else was like taking a breather and stuff earlier, did you also to restore your stamina? I did not. You did not? Okay. Just wanted to make sure that that's sort of right. Your plan turns out perfectly as before the cat folk can uh, get a jump on sort of Glaciel, Glaciel or Azadan, you get up right next to them and with a swift stab of your sword cane, uh, make contact. Roll damage. Uh, Ortix, what do you like to do? You hear that rustling from the, the west that sort of seemed to cue everything off, but like you still can't see them. Well, hit the thing that I can see then. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, stance up. I'm going to run up behind and I will flurry of blows. This and this. Uh, first hits, second doesn't. Ooh, seven. Cool. Uh, you, you managed to get up behind, actually, no, it still doesn't, it still doesn't, but yeah, you, you get up behind them and as you go past them, you like bring your elbow backwards in a quick strike and hit them in the back. Flurry of blows, stride, anything else with last action? Uh, that's all of my stance. Oh, stance, right, right, right. Next up, darting out, uh, from behind you, another cat folk. Uh, and they sprint, covering a, a wide 60 feet, and... I have, uh, by see- the way, before before they the damage, I have to remember I'm doing whatever the shield, uh, oh, health spell spell. Oh, yeah. resin spell. Uh, can you cast that real quick? Drag this onto Silver. I should roll the... Ooh, D4 attempt health. Huge. Yippee! Um, so you see as this cat folk sprints out from the brush, uh, they sort of are dragging their, their great axe behind them. And in one big swing, once they get up to you, they Whip. <laughs> miss. Um, as <laughs> with a loud clang, uh, you feel the, the great axe bounce off of your tough scales. Um, and then they're going to attack again. What? Multiple attack penalty. Uh, they they might have the um, oh the barbarian attack. feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> that doesn't even connect. Four. Clang, clang. <laughs> uh, with their with their second swing, they they go to lift it up, uh, but sort of lose their footing, and with that, they lose their strike. Azadan, you essentially have four actions between the two of you. I want Glacial to just run up and kick the the dude who popped up first. <laughs> and then try to set the one that's attacking Silva on fire. The uh, first <laughs> kick is going to to miss. Uh, let me see... Ignition. 23! 
Holy number. Okay. Uh, roll damage. Yeah. Hell yeah. And the, I think at the same exact time that like you hear the you see the the kick miss, you hear a snapping, and then just fucking fight the fire. <laughs> On the same one? Like no, 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 no. Like at the same time. Okay. In sync. Let's look at the cat folk that's getting the shit beat out of it. Also, uh, at this time, you see Lear sort of uh, like sneak off into the brush and away from the yeah. fight. <laughs> Not looking to get involved. Um, Figures. I was going to tell them too if they suck around. With a, with a poke to the front and an elbow to the back, the cat folk is going to in one sort of circular motion bring itself around and take a swing at Ortix. What the fuck? This Holy crap. That, that hits. We're, we're weighing the die again. Still up. Still up. And with that same movement is going to uh, sweep their great axe over at Glaciel for a slightly less potent multiple attack penalty. And what the fuck? 23 damage. 15. Ooh. Oh. A clean hit to, to Glaciel's midsection uh, as they sweep the axe from Ortix to her. That's a... Uh... I'm down, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> no, you're not. Uh, I'm not. Remember, damage, not goes, damage goes to your stamina first, and then your HP. I, was, I don't know where my stamina is. Hit, oh, okay. hit the damage button. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the group sees as Glaciel gets hit, Azadan stumble backwards. And with their last action, uh, they are going to move themselves away. Uh, you notice that they they aren't really like they're keeping their eyes on the group as they sort of stride away, but you notice that it happens to be towards Lear. Oh, they are not directly looking at like where Lear went. Like you're not sure if they noticed or not, but it does happen to be towards them. Um, we look to Soba. Hmm. Now this this is a party, and he's going to rage. And he is going to punch. Ooh. But it's okay, he'll punch again. He's going to miss, and that okay. will hit! Let me see that damage. 10 damage. Sheesh! Strong punch indeed, as the, the cat folk reels back. Uh, sort of, you can see its fur singed, uh, and now, like, its face bloodied from this punch. Uh, it is looking very worse for wear. Uh, and that is the end of my action. Cool. Uh, with that, we are back to Finnis. Yeah, as I notice, uh, Bill going over towards Lear, I'm gonna run, like, in front to almost protect Lear here, and then... Uh, the, should, moving into the bush, be... the bush is difficult terrain, which would mean oh, okay. it takes twice as much movement to move into it. I getcha. Mm -hmm. I, move, I move here, then. I'm gonna devise a stratagem again to attack with Sword Cane. Okay. Love it. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'll attempt to hit. Cool. Let me see that attack roll. 18. Uh, you're, as you run up to the cat folk and sort of come up with this plan, uh, you, you find purchase with your Sword Cane yet again. Let me see that damage roll. Seven. You feel your sword cane make contact. They let out a yowl, and uh, you see that there is a pretty significant, like, amount of bloodshed from that from that hit. They are they are on their last leg. Uh, Ortix, what would you like to do? May I uh, free action to talk? Yeah. Uh, it just dawned on me, but wait, we should probably take them alive. I wasn't planning on killing them. That's good. I almost <laughs> definitely did. 
<laughs> I, I specialize in fire and ice magic. I don't know that I get to join y'all. <laughs> I can't non-lethally set something on fire. You can, but it'll you can make something lethal, non-lethal, but you take a circumstance penalty. Yeah, it's a minus two to hit. <clears throat> Seeing that they're on their last legs, I'm gonna run up and punch the shit out of them. Hell yeah. Um, come on. Yes. Oh, crit! Crit. Uh, um, this is non-lethal, by the way. Yeah. yeah for sure. Give me that damage. Uh, <laughs> Knock them into the fucking ground. <laughs> so, like, with, with, a, with an insane amount of precision, you bring your hand down uh, on, like, their neck, and you just see them go limp and collapse to the ground. Still breathing. And uh, having just done this in front of Buddy, I'm gonna try to demoralize the the other one. And just hold him up, hold him up like you would a dead chicken. And just <laughs> <laughs> okay, he will just turn around menacingly. Uh, plus zero intimidation check inbound. <laughs> Fifteen. That is against their will. DC? Will I think? Will they see? Um, you you see them like stop. Dude, my plus zero charisma checks go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is the cat folks turn. Uh, and they are going to They're going to drop their weapon. I think after <laughs> I think after seeing that. In fact, give yourself a hero point there, <laughs> as you, <laughs> you successfully scare them out of wanting to to participate in this bout anymore as their their great axe hits the ground and their their hands go into the air so much for no uh incidents between parties we i suppose have nothing more to say what do you um, want with us with a a sigh um the the remaining cat folk uh says we're merely bandits Looking to make a quick buck down here. We saw your party injured and figured it would be quick. Hey. That's crazy. Anyway, Silva so starts <laughs> emptying his pockets. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on top of the 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 great axe, uh, they sort of close their eyes acceptingly and sort of you know, bandit wins. They get money. Bandit loses. But they lose it. <laughs> You you find several daggers on them. I don't know why it's listed as a spear in their <laughs> inventory. This is base character token. I did nothing to edit that one. Uh, but you find three three daggers on them along with their, their great axe and sort of unassuming leather armor. Uh, on top of that, ten gold. Let me start adding this to the party sheet. I don't know if I want the weapons. I think... They can keep the weapons. I don't really care for them. <laughs> Nobody here will use them. <laughs> unless unless we want to take them to sell them, but like, Ortix, Ortix doesn't really have any interest in taking from them. He just kind of wants them to fuck off and leave them alone. <laughs> <laughs> you find a jade cat, which this small sort of carving of, of this head, uh, this like gem head, and they they explain to you sort of what it does so you can check the the consumable tab there uh, Jade cat. and along with that a signaling snare well so we'll strip them of all of their weapons except for one dagger for each and they each get to keep their great axes yeah that's a wait i was gonna say we should leave them with a dagger and take the great axes i have plenty i think they can the keep axes. the great axes i don't really care <laughs> i think well, we can't I, use I, I them I think Evidence is mad. <laughs> <laughs> you can't use them, and they're too big to put in the box. So. This is personal. And so party doesn't, I, I'll reject, but I, otherwise, I want the great axes. I mean, we'll I would say, if you'd like to carry them. Pretty sure Glacial can just carry them. <laughs> pretty sure great axes are, like, pretty fucking cumbersome, actually. They're, they're, they are too bulk a pop. Yeah, I don't yeah. want to carry that around. I'm good. I'm I saying for really have, for, for Azadan, since oh. Azadan sounds like they want to. So unless you are actively stopping them, I'm going to drag these. 
over to Glacial, since Nar. it's not a bulk issue. Probably pretty smart to carry a knife with us anyway. Um, and then I will, I will exchange these for daggers, since they have spears for whatever reason. Ortex is going to walk up to the other cat folk, and he will hand them uh, two of his own gold, like, from out of his pockets, and he will say, for others interested in making the same foolish mistake that you did, spread the word of Delver's heart that we mean not to engage in combat, but simply to explore. Uh-huh. Uh, can you give me a, a, a make an impression? And since you gave two gold, I'll say, uh, with a plus four, uh, circumstance plus bonus. Here. Four? Yeah, since they are, you know, bandits and trying to, um, I'll say they, the, you, you see the, the cat folk in front of you. They accept the gold. We will, we will let the others know when, when we go up once more. Uh, without you should giving... have told them to fight us but just not being cowards about it. Well, if they still wish to engage after this, then perhaps next time we make an example. Uh, <laughs> but your friend, your friend will be fine. They'll be sore when, uh, when they get up, but they'll recover. Uh, with, a, with a gulp, uh, a very visual gulp, uh, they nod and they go over to their, their, their <laughs> partner. <laughs> I imagine they get the hell out of here. Yeah. <laughs> they, they they tend to their partner and sort of sling their their shoulder over or their arm over their shoulder and start to to walk off. <laughs> After they start to walk off, Lear comes out of the bushes and goes, Whew. Man, you guys really uh you guys really handled that. I'm gonna take a moment to sit down and take a breather. <laughs> mm, um, of course we did. <laughs> As it in, you were not looking so hot. No, I'm not. I'm not. Shall I carry you and your small blue friend? I, we, we're fine. <laughs> also, I speak for both of us. Also, Glacial is not necessarily <laughs> small, know. right? No, no, she is big. She is big. <laughs> as the man is small and pale, Glacial is big and blue. A six foot tall woman. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that would say. Thinnis, Thinnis is going to go over to Ortix and offer the healing potion, the minor healing potion we got from Pot. Uh, looking up from a sort of meditating uh He'll accept and uh, thank Finnis. Okay. Oh my god, Max healing. Let's go. Let's go. This is super huge. How do, we, how do we regain HP later? Um, yeah. uh, healing and... Uh, <laughs> so, and, uh, the, the big thing is you guys are two encounters. It is now around five. You guys have been traveling for good portion of the day <laughs> like a while you guys finish you know taking your breather and it's it's about it's about five so you you're getting to to the point where there's two options here how i'm doing this is if you do any more than eight encounters in a day you'll start being exhausted uh which has a couple downsides to it uh, that's so that's sort of the max amount of encounters you can do in a day but you can choose so to max. What's up? We're at max. Uh, no, you guys are. You guys have done six. Uh, okay. So you can set up camp at any time during those during those eight if you feel like you need to, uh, and it will, you know, pass some time. You'll use some of your rations. Uh, you can use basic ingredients and stuff to to make food and stuff for buffs, and it will end that sort of adventuring day for you. So those are your options going forward. Since your party doesn't really have a a way to heal right now. Yeah, um, man, we hit that milestone and I hit level two. Oh boy, I'm picking up that goddamn healing spell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, including no no healer's toolkit. Uh, I believe Thinnis is trained in medicine. 
but yes. there is no healer's toolkit for the party. We have we have money and we have the box. Yep. We could always go on. Actually, because I had to adjust some other stuff, uh, I'm actually changing a little bit how the box works, um, oh. which uh -huh. makes it easier for the group to to get stuff. Essentially, being taking away some of the time parts of it, the the time specific stuff. That in my brain worked before, but now that we're actually playing, I'm going that that's not going to work. <laughs> so it's pretty much going to be during daily uh, your daily preparations. Uh, so like after camping, essentially, you can make orders and buy and sell during that time, just sort of flat out, and you you won't have to wait for for getting the orders and stuff later. So yeah, that's how that's how all that sort of works. So it is up to the group whether you want to to sort of make camp now or continue on. Hey, this is like the camp not where we just were attacked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. I think moving on, do we want to like move, do a bit more exploring and then after the, the next thing we take a break? That's, take a, that's what yeah, I was thinking. Yeah, yeah, I think that's best. Cool. So you're looking for one more encounter? Uh, yeah, or... otherwise it's kind of a waste of a healing potion that we just used. Yeah. True. I can unuse it and put it back. <laughs> you are yeah, you can do that. Oh, we can just say it never happened, but yeah. That's <laughs> I, since I've now explained all of that, if that is something that you want to do, if you want to save it for later, then I, I will let you unuse the healing potion and just say it didn't happen. <laughs> If we, because you know. I'm fine, because accounting for the fact that we don't have healing and we're, you know, risking another pretty bad encounter, mm. um, it could be a good idea to long rest at this point, like set up camp for the night, but I'll leave that up to the group. Because my, most of my reasoning for wanting to do another encounter is I just use the healing potion and I don't want to take a long rest after using a healing potion. <laughs> Mm. I kind of want to just get one more in anyway, just to get another tick of travel in. Cool. Well, if I, if I go down, so I guess he uses big, strong arms to carry the pale twink around. <laughs> <laughs> All right, since we're doing one more. Cool. Sounds like we're doing one more. Ah, uh, and with that, the, the party... So I want, I want to put in a request for this uh, encounter. Uh-huh. If we walk past any kind of body of water, I need you to let me know. Like okay. even it just like it's I don't it doesn't have to be on the map just like a little like a like a like a little river or something. All right, a little pond. Uh, I yeah. funnily enough, there might be something prepared for for just that, so it depends. Cool. But I will I will even if it isn't that thing that ends up getting rolled, I will I will. Let you I don't know. need it to be on the map. I can just yeah. flavor it. It's something I want to yeah. do. Uh, let me send us back to here. Another step towards the goblin cave. It didn't matter that much. I think it would have made that big of a difference. I think maybe Ooh. I tied with the, uh... Ooh. A one on a die. We know what that means. Come on, Plum. Goblin boys. <laughs> we can always leave. Let me... You guys can talk amongst yourself. In fact, uh, since this w wasn't the thing, uh, as it in, if you would like to, you can flavor your, your stuff for what you were doing. Yeah, uh, you guys can talk. we're walking around talking about whatever, and then as it in spots a, like a, can we just say like a tiny river? Or, mm. Uh, as it in, we'll like tap Glacial on the shoulder and point, and she will just like float over, throw the great axis into the river, and then just like wipe her hands and then go back with the party. <laughs> We take it personal here. <laughs> That's awesome. It was never about the great axes. It was about the message. <laughs> a little petty as a treat. And, then, and now we don't have to carry the great axes anymore. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Lair speaks up and says, uh, I, uh, I think we might be getting close. It might be around time where, you know, we, we talked about this earlier that I, uh, <laughs> and he sort of like motions to the side. 
Everybody just stares at him. For a <laughs> 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 well, if you if you wish to be on your way, just know that. Well, no harm, no foul, and he'll extend his hand to the the little goblin and uh, appreciate the assistance. There smiles and reaches up uh, <laughs> towards the ortex and and gives your hand a good shake. Well, it was, uh, it was a pleasure, and uh, I'm, I'm glad that you didn't kill me. Just, you know, don't go don't go telling anyone that it was me who uh, uh, led y'all to the, to the cave. Of course. Don't let it happen again. And with that, you see him start to uh, walk off. And um, as he gets to sort of out of view... And to the other side of the bushes, you hear a scream. Yeah. Did he scream? Yes. Uh-oh. I, fig- I, I figured. I, w- I was going to say something, but there was no space for me to say it. <laughs> uh, perception check? It is hard to, to make out like what happened. Uh, to Lear, but you hear like a scream from him, just uh, holy shit, and then a thud as his, a, a small thud as his body hits the ground, and uh, you you hear nothing but a rustling from the, the other side of the bushes. Uh, well, there's those spares. I assume moving right now is still a free action. Yep. So he's going to move up to here, and yet again, his big old tongue's going to come out and start flicking around. Uh, immediately, you you can't smell anything. Uh, first of all, is the rest of the party sticking close to Soba? Or are you letting him sort of go forward? I'll be close behind, but not quite as far forward. Yeah, I'm. I'm in the the chain order here of going back even further, but yeah, <laughs> following slowly. Um, as you get to there, Soba, you start to get a strong scent of dog, and as, I imagine blood. Yes. As in front of you, you see, uh, tearing at Lear, uh, there is a a wolf above them. Just one? One that you can see. The scent um, that you are getting is that there's more. It is a strong scent. A lot of dogs up ahead. This could pose a problem. I need everybody to roll for initiative. Um, Everyone should get plus one. You what? You? I I was going to ask if I could change my initiative to uh, intimidate, as I'm just going to let out a roar just to try to startle as many dogs as I can into being visible. Um, you know what? Yeah, yeah. I'll say you can okay. can roll with that. I think that's that's flavored um, really really well. Um. And plus one from the scouting, mm-hmm. as Ortix was keeping an eye out while they were exploring. With that. Yeah, I have, I have a worse intimidation than I do a perception. Ortix, you are, you are top of initiative order. What would you like to do? I would like to seek to see if I can find about where the other dog is. Alright, would you like to uh, first blind perception? In, yeah. Pop seek into the chat. Would you like your your 60 foot cone or your 30 foot burst? Give me a roll. Uh, uh, it says you have to do it. You do the secret uh, perception check for me. I mean, you could just roll it blind. Okay. Yeah, that's what we've been doing for yeah. DM rolls. You do identify one. They are technically right outside the cone, but I'll give it to you. You see the gray against the, the green of the brush, uh, and you spot another dog over by Lear. Uh, and then it's an action to point that out, right? To everybody else. Yes. 
Uh, I'm going to point it out and then I'm going to, to stance. Um, uh, with that, Soba, what would you like to do? I think, I think I'm going to delay to see what the wolves do. Just waiting to see if any wolves are going to actually make their way towards the, the party. Alrighty. Azadan, what would you like to do? Um, I should explain because you guys talked about it before about like possibly fleeing. Uh, I want to describe what fleeing is going to look like uh, in this. If you move your way to the edge of a map, um, like if you move yourself off the map, you are considered fleeing. Uh, you cannot come back into combat once you have left. You are considered sprinting off into the distance, essentially. Um, to to exit combat, all you have to do is, like I said before, leave the edge of the map. Any edge of the map. Oh, with that being said, uh, as it in. Might be a good idea for us to group up, actually. I... Fuck okay. it. Oh. Ooh, scorching blast. Um. I want to get close enough to cast that. Like, I don't know how to signal. Like between the wolves. No. Damn. The the fire goes wide uh, and misses the the wolf. Next in the order would be Thinnis. What would you like to do? Oh. Um. Have we already de determined, like, what exactly doggies these are? No. Uh, no. You know that they are not the same type of doggies as, like, the mount from before. But that is Sure, it. okay. Can I do expeditious inspection, and which allows me to, as a free action, recall knowledge? And can I do recall knowledge nature check on these? Yes, you may. In fact, I would love you to. Is it blind? Yes. yes. All, all recall okay. knowledge will be blind. Uh, you... You know these pretty, pretty commonly to be wolves. Alone? They, they pose a threat, but, you know, your party could definitely take one. Um, even, like, a couple of them. But the, the more there are... They, they tend to attack in packs uh, and they get um, they get extra damage when they attack things together. No, dude. All the more reason for us to group up. Yeah. Um, I'm going to spend an action to draw my pistol and then I'm going to walk over here. Um, and then I'm going to I'm just going to end my turn. Uh, so draw a pistol stride. You still have another action if you want to like try to recall knowledge again or, you know, do other stuff. No reason to waste actions. Yeah. Knowledge is power. Yeah, I'll, I'll recall knowledge again. All right. Is there any piece of information you would you are looking for? Elements or weaknesses that would get them to move or like avoid a spot. Okay. I, I will give you this as far as sort of uh, weaknesses go. They have a very strong uh, sense of smell and things sort of around that could probably uh, probably push them away. Uh, I will also give you... Hmm, would you rather have AC or HP? AC. 15. Not bad. Got it. Probably uh, doable, depending on how many there are. It sounds like there's at least three. And then your turn. Yeah. And now, them. Uh, the 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 first one continues to to tear at Lear. Two stacks of dying to Lear as this wolf continues to tear away at it. Uh, the second Did, one, the the one you have already seen. My my yelling at it had no effect. Um, it made pretty much made them go last. The first one uh, in front of you here is going to 
run up towards uh, Glaciel, who is the the closest, um, and make a jaw strike as it tries to bite at her legs. Miss. Fifteen, a miss. Uh, in which legs, case, huh? in which case, it is going to then circle around and move away. Then from below, you hear uh, a pretty loud rustling and thinness. You are met with a wolf that runs out of the bushes over to you and it is going to make a jaw strike. Yeah, that's why I was looking for my perception earlier. 60. Miss. Miss. Oh, just barely. Uh, and that was all of its actions to get there. And then, also Another from the one. south. Mm. I figured there would be like four of them. Also from the south, sprinting through the bushes, uh, goes right up next to its, its fellow wolf and takes a bite. That one hits. Take eight damage as you aren't quite able to get away from it and it wraps its jaws around your leg. Uh, that is going to be its last action, though. Um, any, any other wolves want to show themselves? And that is going to be back to the top of the encounter. So, oh, Soba. Oh, no, Soba. Soba. Wait, wait, wait. True, 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 true. Soba, let me move you to bottom of the order here. Soba's going to move here, followed by getting really angry at these dogs. Let me pet that dog. <laughs> Which one is it? <laughs> Let me pet that dog. Oh, you you pet that dog already. Roll damage. Pet that dog. Oh, As uh, Sopo pets that dog. Thank you, the bunny is. <laughs> he did pet that dog. You you make contact. Managed to put a pretty hearty punch into this wolf. Dwayne the Rock Johnson when he pets a chihuahua. <laughs> Uh, now we go to top of the order, Ortix. Hey. Um, I'm gonna run over here. Now I'm gonna pet that dog. A lot. Oh, come on. Hmm. You do have an extra hero point. I do. I'm gonna reroll that first one. Alrighty. Let me see that roll. Pet that dog. You pet that dog. I pet that dog. Roll that damage. Put that petting him. Nine. Just had to one up Soba. Mission accomplished. Dog petted. And, and one more. <laughs> oh, the extra one? Oh my uh, god, that's, you hit? With that's three that's three actions, because yeah. Florian blows one action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright. Shit, roll damage again. Fuck. <laughs> Yippee. Mmm. Tasty nineteen damage. You know, missing your missing your first punch and flavoring it is sort of a, a a faint of sorts as you roll two more punches out, two more strikes in your in your flashing, uh, you know, your flashing spark, uh, and manage to leave a couple scorch marks uh, on the side of this wolf as you make contact. Oh, uh, my turn! It is. This thing has over over twenty health. That one is looking worse for wear. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> the more the the more quickly we take these out, the easier this will be. So I think if we can kill that one, that would be great. <laughs> uh, with that, we are to Azadin. I think it's a kick kind of day. <laughs> Fifteen meets it, beats it. We see damage. Three. Oh my god, two kicks! Fucking pa pa! Little damage, three, two. How many, um, in. how many actions do I have now? Uh, you one have one yourself, with Azadan. All of your, you have used a lot of your actions for Glacio. So you have one for Azadan. Tech Companion. Cool. Plus one circumstance bonus to AC. And that ends your turn. So, Thinnis, what do you like to do? Um, 
I'm going to uh, devise the stratagem for this wolf in particular. Ready? Uh, with my sword cane attack. Boom. Hey, that's not good. All right, so <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna attack the other one with my sword cane. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see your, your multiplier is plus six. Plus oh, seven, yeah. so plus it would six. not hit. Well, actually, no, it would. Th that meets. That, yeah, that would actually meet because flanking. They have, they have two uh, less AC because of flanking. This is true in real. Yeah, I mean, they, I'll, I'll, take a, I'll take a guaranteed hit. Yeah. Are you not going to gamble for the crit? Come on, you can hit <laughs> <laughs> That's what the second action is for. Oh, That's what the second attack is for. Durr. Nine, 99 of gamblers. <laughs> yeah. All right, it's me. Day. I'm 99 of gamblers hitting that map. Map minus 10, baby. That's right. me. It's, that is going to be a hit then. Let me see that roll. Eight damage. And with that, you manage. Kill that to, dog. It has a final, final strike. Drops it. You still have one action. What do you like to do? Yeah, I'm gonna hit the other dog. Multiple attack penalty. Sad. Damn. That is going to miss. It is now the dogs. With the last of with its actions, uh, it is going to put two more hits into um, into Lear. Uh, Officially bringing Lear yeah. to dying four and dead. Yeah, I we salute. We salute the fallen. And then they turn towards the party. Uh, next one's next. Getting a look of its surroundings, the wolf is going to sort of dart its way through, like sort of in between Azadan and Thinis, over towards. Uh, Glaciel and uh, seeing its its partner there and take a swing That's the wrong button holy yikes 24 <clears throat> damage life block is a reaction so Darko would have oh. to use it if you would like if... to you can use life block I would love to all right so you would take five instead Reduce the triggering damage by 10, but you lose 5 hit points, even if this did. Oh. Cool. Right. Even if this so you, even if this reduces the damage to 0. That... You would take 5. Yeah. Instead so, of 6, essentially. Okay, yeah. I'm taking it to my current and not my stamina, or...? You take it to your stamina yeah. first. Stamina, it's always, it is always stamina first and then HP. Uh, and then with its last action... Yep, with its jaws sort of already clamped down on Glacial, it is going to try and trip her. Yep. So it is going to be athletics against the target's reflex DC. Um, How nice. It's going to be an eight, <laughs> which is not high enough. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Definitely not. Um, the levels are nicer in this game. With that, it's going to... <laughs> with oh. that, it's going to end its turn. Uh, in which case, the, the other one is also going to uh, try and strike at Glaciel. Okay. Oh my god. 24. Mm. Damage. 6. Again. Um, it is then going to try and trip. Womp womp. Yes. As soon as it sort of like tilts its head and flings its body to try and tilt Glaciel and she just sort of kicks the the <laughs> the, the wolf off of her leg uh, yeah, it is going still, to she's still just floating there mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, it is going to to uh, take a step away and that is going to be the wolf's turns so, so Bob, back to you dog petting Damn. Wait, flanking. 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 That hits. So that damn yeah. 11. <laughs> Looking worse for wear, for sure. Ooh. And a 20 roll damage. Oh <laughs> my fucking god. That is a... Uh... Casual 26 damage? Yeah, holy shit. Um, Goodbye. 
with with two swift punches running up behind uh, a glacial here. You pummel this dog and it, it, it goes down. Enter. Back up to Ortix. What would you like to do? Two down. I'm going to pet that dog. He's in my range. <laughs> uh, I'll do one of these. Aw, oh, man. Oof. And one of these. Uh, That's that what your one points hits. are for. True, I could spend my last hero point. You know uh, what? Yeah, You're right. I can down. spend my last hero point. <laughs> no. No, no, no fucking way. way. No right, anyway, way, dude. Hold this nine, uh, and, uh, damn. Okay, that's my turn. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, the nine for- I thought the nine was another attack, and I was like, how did this MF attack four times? <laughs> <laughs> oh, just bunk nine things. Is, nine is damage. Bunk things. Um, yeah, you, you, you pet that dog, leaving a, a, a solid scorch mark on its side. Um, bu -bu -bu. next in order, as a day. As a day in. <laughs> I can't Mission. believe the re-roll until the crit fail again. Uh, That's is unbelievable, this on... dude. Oh, is this on the one yeah. on the left? Yeah. Alright. Light that bush on fire. Roll damage. Oh! Rough. Uh, and you have an action with Glacial as well. Fair enough. <laughs> into <laughs> formation! <laughs> Felix. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Thinnis, what would you like to do? Um, I'm going to devise a stratagem on the one by Ortex. Alrighty. Uh, sword can hit. Sword? Yeah, that's not good. Um, you do already have your pistol drawn as well. Yeah. Realistically, I just don't have a lot I can do. I'm kind of worried about the gun because. I don't want to make noise. Well, are you worried about summoning more dogs? I'm worried about the fact that we're like less than a mile away from a goblin mine, but... <laughs> you could use a ready action that if the wolf gets close, you stab it. That's true. Sure. How do I do that? It's, um... Um, it's a type of action that or a thing that costs two actions. I did not know about this. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so you set the trigger and the action. So the trigger is if a wolf comes within range of you. Yeah. And the action is stabby. Strike with sword cane, yeah. Cool. Cool, cool. Um, wolf's turn. Uh, seeing its lone partner uh, still still alive up there. Uh, the, the group, which is sort of gone into this phalanx formation um it is going to blast past glacial two moves i figured but that's okay uh and it is going to make a strike with its jewel was that hit that just hits because they're being flanked flanking seven damage now uh stand now watch this knockdown. Uh, that's all your actions, though. Oh, actually, yeah, you're so true. Two strides, strike. Mm. No, no, keep no, me, no, keep no. me honest, keep me honest. The uh, other one can try. However, the other one. Shaw <laughs> strike. <laughs> oh! That's a crit. Sure is. Crit. 12 damage. And I'm down. Dying one. Actually, you would be dying two, because you went down to a crit. I'm lucky. Unlucky. Uh, in which case, it doesn't need to try and uh, knock you down. Uh, and it is going to make a stride over here. And that is going to be their turn. Soba, Man, it's your turn. I so many fucking times. Ortex! Soba's gonna run over and not pet that dog. Not petted. Fist energy. Max Holy. damage. <laughs> Holy max damage roll. It lets out it 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 lets out a, a, a yowl as you sort of blow into it here. Uh sort of punch into its flank. What are you going to do next? Another punch. 
Yeah. No, I'll just. Oof. Oof. And by that I mean hero point. Oh? Oh, to a 20! Oh my god! <laughs> uh, goodbye. Just a casual 30 damage. Just as your second punch is about to to, to sort of miss, uh, fate has it that the, the wolf stumbles from that first punch, and your, uh, your second fist lands, knocking the wolf to the ground. Um, and that is the end of your turn. Or ticks? Uh, actually, you are knocked to right just before them, so it's not you yet. Um, as a dan. Just making sure. A Hooray. 19. That is going to hit. Roll damage. Six. Solid. Wolf is on its last legs. Oh. Let's try to attack. Ignition from where you're standing. Yep. Roll attack. Hit. Roll that damage. Three. Oh my god. Uh, the, the the fire catches its uh, catches its fur. It staggers backwards and is almost down. Is that all my actions? Yes. Thinnis. Take us home. I'll just move here. Okay. And strike with sword cane. I see that attack roll. 18, it connects. Yes. Roll damage for flavor. It's a one, one. don't matter. <laughs> oh thank god. With a final uh, a, a, a final sweep. Um, the wolf is knocked off its legs and falls to the ground. Or ticks. We're not quite out of order yet. Uh, that's going to be a failure. Going down to dying three. Would you like to spend your hero point and? I don't have any. Oh. Because I rerolled it into a crit fail from a crit oh, fail. I, I gave. Wait, who did I give the? Oh. the you hero gave me an extra one. I spent them both this encounter. Gotcha. In which case, uh. Unless I can have the one back from when I rerolled a crit fail into a crit fail. <laughs> um. No. Okay. Uh, and I gave him my hero point. <laughs> uh, also, no. Um, we are at the point of the game, which is fate. I will say... Um, I Fine. will allow... If you can come up with anything for, for, for what you would be doing to sort of help Ortic survive this as he is on the ground and, and bleeding. We have someone with medical training, and we can just rig some sort of supplies together. We have daggers and clothing we can turn into bandages. Okay. Yeah, I think I think realistically, I, I would probably like use one of the, the the water skin in my my pouch to like clean some of the wounds and like put pressure on some of the bleeding. Um, Isn't there? I don't a have a healer's kit, so I can't really like actually stop the dying but. yeah i will say um the 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 party is able to scrap together a, a makeshift set of healing tools out of just sort of what you have as as it and said the the daggers you took earlier and uh your your water pouches to sort of do that i will allow thinnis uh roll medicine to attempt first aid uh, if the other players would like to use their turn to sort of flavor it as aiding, uh, you can yeah. roll whatever whatever skill check you want to use to flavor your your aid. You may do so. Hmm. Uh, I'm counting this. Intimidation. Sort of... Thinnis gets the feeling if they don't save Vortex, their neck. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so it's all about how you want to flavor stuff. Like you could do Arcana if you're trying to like you know make a flame and uh, hold it up to like to to help solderize the wounds and stuff like that. You also have your your lore skill for the the elemental eidolon. Uh, so if you would like to use that to like have Glacial do something, you could do that as well. Um, flavor it that way. It's however you want to flavor Azadan helping. You are looking to assist Thinnis right now. 
if yeah, you if you want to say like athletics because you're like holding ortix up or or and positioning like the that. body the way that's needed or yeah, moving them exactly. where and stuff you know using your your body and tail to to sort of support ortix sure um, how do i use diplomacy or deception for this <laughs> <laughs> oh boy <laughs> <laughs> i mean i would let you use diplomacy if you're like uh, sort of like trying to to talk thinnest through stuff, like through it. I was, I was trying to figure out how to say that. Was, mm. All I could come up with was passing them around. Yeah, <laughs> right. like like either talking thinnest, like helping talk thinnest through it, like calming words or something like that. Um, yeah, to either thinnest or ortix. Yeah, fuck so it, I'll the, say that. the goal is for us to roll a twenty, right, in order to succeed. You need to roll a fifteen. Fifteen. Oh, 15. fifteen. Yeah, okay. DC fifteen for for these. Okay. Okay. And this is Oops. a way that you could use your hero point as a Dan. If you if you fail the roll, then you can do it. Okay, that is going to be a plus one to Thinnis's roll coming up here. Uh, as a Dan. Plus two. Oh, the, the first one was as a dance. Cool, plus yeah. two. All right. Thinnis. Our makeshift probably one-time use medicine check. Uh, plus two here. roll... Roll medicine with a plus two. You can use your hero point. Yeah, that's what I'd like to do. Do I just, how do I use it? Uh, just you right click it and hit re-roll and, uh, or re-roll using hero point. Is the... It's not good. Well, pretty cool. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. Hey. Oh, Ortex, Ortex oh. dying goes... <laughs> yeah, yeah, not dying for. <laughs> uh, buys some time. Uh, Ortex, whatever you did, it may not have completely fixed Ortex, but Ortex is starting to stabilize. It's not dying two instead of dying three. Um, you guys can roll your, your respective aids and first aid again. <laughs> So let's get Soba and Azadan. Azadan 19. So 11. It's going to be a plus just one. A normal, to roll. Just a normal fail. 20. Oh my god. And with that. Stable. Oh, Ortex <laughs> is stable. <laughs> oh, that was scary. <laughs> You're telling me I've been crit like four times in two sessions. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, after laboring over Ortix for for a little bit, uh, Thinnis probably sweating bullets. <laughs> um, Thinnis sits you, down and like lies on the grass. Bro's over with. <laughs> <laughs> you you feel Ortix's uh, breathing start to uh, stabilize. And the the bleeding stop. I imagine with the use of healers tools, you know, everything's like pretty clean and good. But I imagine what we just did, you know, MacGyvering it. I mean, at least <laughs> those feathers are some pretty nasty marks. Or takes absolutely. He's got some scars. Yeah, absolutely <laughs> has a scar. Um, you can flavor where it hit, uh, if you would like to. Walk oh, he's definitely got like a nice gouge uh, in his side that's going to be a, a battle scar later <laughs> where uh, some feathers are probably going to be missing. <laughs> cool. And and with that, uh, I'm assuming you all want to, to camp up. <laughs> oh, certainly. I was asking since yeah. the last time we did an encounter. Uh, that was the plan anyway. One more encounter and then camp. <laughs> and here we are. Goodbye, um, dogs. Dogs are dinner. Oh, yeah. Anybody got a survival? I oh, I have survival. I, I'm trained in survival. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, but, you know, generally not any more tired than he's been since the beginning of this day. Mm. Uh, is going to spend the next, like, encounter of action before being actually tired of just skinning and prepping wolves. Okay. And I will roll a survival for that. Nope. Wait. <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean, I'll let you have one one sort of per wolf here. 
So you botched one of them. I'll just delete that one. <laughs> botched two. Botched three. Let me see the last one. Come on. Give it to me. You got this. 21. All right. You make nice. it out of the basic we got one. <laughs> okay, we, got, we, still have, we still have that fish from earlier. So. <laughs> Very naughty demon goblin. I, I do also have rations in my bag. I have two things of rations in my bag. Yeah. Yeah, so, so this carrying two weeks of rations. So how do how does using our rations work? How do you how do you want us to be so, marking those down? Um how it works is everyone will will lose a ration. Uh if anybody is proficient in any way, shape, or form in cooking, um, whether that is through crafting, or if you have a lore skill for cooking, um, you can cook using basic ingredients and a single ration. Make stuff that will will buff your party, including special ingredients, which um, you guys don't have any yet. Cool. I'm glad I switched one of my trainings to survival. With a <laughs> minimum of eight hours how long does the party decide to camp for so eight hours would to... put you guys oh first let me move that the time forward so it's now six o'clock is what, about when you guys start and that would be about sunrise yeah how long does it take to heal fully <laughs> one long um, rest. for for as far as daily preparations and stuff goes i will let you guys just heal to full so it would be one o'clock at the end of the, the minimum eight hours for you guys camping. And we can so, go through a little bit RP because this is kind of where we're going mm -hmm. to end things today is with, with camping RP. Yeah, I was going to ask if we could end. end uh, yeah, we're going to end with today. some of that. But uh, how much longer would you guys want to go? Cause... Probably wait till sunrise. Mm -hmm. I mean, it could be tactical for you guys to go at 1 a.m. to the Goblin Cave, well rested. That's also true. So it's 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 up to y'all what you want to do. Um, how many of us, um, how many of you are capable of seeing in the dark? I can't see in the dark, but, you know, if it's dim enough, I don't have much trouble. As long as we have slight moonlight. Yeah, I mean, Dennis, Dennis can. I have literally no idea. Um, uh, uh, you cool. have low light vision, so you also would qualify. So we all have low light vision. Oh, I should update Lear's uh, entry. Submit the phone. Oh, 07. Mm. Um, you guys can regain all of your resolve points, all of your HP, all of your stamina. Uh, and then... For Darkle, you would gain your spellcasting slot back. I think that's all yeah, your guys' yeah. daily resources. Transition this back to daylight. But uh, as, you know, night sort of starts to fall, what does your group do? As, you know, Ortex is at, at, at this point unconscious. What does, what does the group do? Like, walk me through what it looks like as you guys are setting up camp and uh, so on and so forth. You know, whatever it is that I will probably make the fire. Dennis will uh, lay out his, his bedroll and uh, pretty much immediately just start sitting down and updating the journal. So I was going to coil up his tail and then start lounging in it like a beanbag and immediately start filling cups of booze next to the fire. For himself. If other people end up wanting booze, they're welcome to have some. I'm going to put myself a couple of inebriation steps forward. <laughs> cool. Um, a couple hours later, Ortix, you, you come to. It is probably like 9-ish, 10-ish by the time your, your eyes start to open. I imagine from laying down on the floor, from, you know, treating wounds, uh, you'd probably sit up and gather his surroundings first you're um, probably like next to the fire yeah. yeah and i don't i don't know if other people would have been sleeping at this point i think as in an english i probably keeping point first since one of them can just straight up see in the dark <laughs> and the other one can share senses with that one 
That Pretty useful. Sense. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Sobo probably in sort of a uh, a drunken slumber at this point. Um, Beanbag mode sprawled out on himself. <laughs> uh, and Thinis curled up the, the mortician's journal sort of laying by his bedroll. Um, I think at this point, uh, after sort of gathering his surroundings and coming to uh, Ortex would speak up and just say uh, apologies friends I got ahead of myself and I think I need to go do some internal reflection so he won't go you know he won't venture very far from the camp yeah, the first thing that if they start walking away is the, the, uh, as an I will at least speak up a little bit don't go too far just keep watching I'll be I'll be close and he just sort of goes you know, under the nearest tree, and uh, sort of sits and reflects on the mistakes he made, perhaps being a bit too aggressive in the face of a pack of wolves, getting too ahead of himself, and sort of sit and reflect on how he could have, you know, approached this better without uh, endangering himself and potentially the party, how he could have done better. What he did wrong was unfortunately incur the ire of the powers that be their <laughs> weighted fucking dice <laughs> as you had your you know near death very very near death experience ortix uh and you sit out meditating as you have your eyes closed in the midst of the night you hear what sounds to be a very very soft breathing uh, does can you like sort of gather what direction it's coming from, and does it is it like far away or is it pretty close by? It is it is close by, um, as if somebody was breathing like sort of very. It's very soft, very gentle, off to your side. But if you were to sort of go and look for it, uh, there is there is nothing to be seen. Imagine he. Uh, open his eyes and turn his head in the direction of the breathing. Um, but he doesn't see anything. It fades over time and stops. After opening his eyes? Yes. Hmm. Okay. I think seeing nothing, probably looking around briefly to make sure there was nothing, he would probably... Uh, go back to sitting down, meditating. And with that, time passes and everybody feels, you know, after an, an evening of rest, everybody starts to rustle around sort of uh, around 1 a.m. And you are up. Was your group planning on, you know, going in the night or... Sleeping till morning. What is the what was the decision there? Only one of us has dark vision, and I'm willing to bet goblins have dark vision. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we need a light source. Most importantly, I think. Just unwise. I'd say we get some extra rest for the night. We could also <laughs> sleep until four. Get there by five, just before the suns come up. Get a good idea of like if they're awake. If we'd be able to sneak past them, catch them yeah. off guard. I like that idea. Mm -hmm. If we need like a light source, I have been told that I can provide. Yeah, in the cave we might need it, but we're like approaching the caves just before the break of dawn. We we should still be able to have vision since we all at least have low light vision. Yeah. Cool. Uh, and that is where we will end today as the, the party finishes prepping themselves to go, cleans up camp, and need to head out. Mm -hmm.